arts, charity, education, science. 50 years of a great foundation. Kalus Gorbankian Foundation, a foundation in the world. The Kalus Gorbankian Foundation was born of the founder's desire to perpetuate the work of a lifetime and to thank the country which had welcomed him in his later years. In accordance with his final wish, a Portuguese private institution of public utility was set up in Lisbon in 1956. It inherited Gorbankian's fortune, derived from the petroleum industry, as well as his valuable art collection. The foundation's activities cover the four main areas defined by the founder, charity, arts, education, and science. With activities in more than 70 countries, the Kalusko Benkian Foundation is one of the leading foundations in Europe and participates in international networks of philanthropy. Kalus Sarkis Gorbenkian was born in Skutari near Istanbul in 1869. The eldest son of a leading Armenian merchant family, his education was carefully planned and led to a first-class degree in engineering and applied sciences from King's College, London. After visiting the Baku oil fields in Transcaucasia, he published a book with his observations on the potential of the petroleum industry. His strategic and entrepreneurial vision earned him an immense fortune, in parallel with a distinguished career as a diplomat and economic advisor. During his lifetime, he assembled a vast collection of art, including priceless pieces. In 1942, after the German army had invaded France, he traveled to Lisbon. This proved to be a decisive visit, since the last 13 years of his life would be spent in Portugal. The idea of creating a foundation began to take shape, and in 1953, Kalus Gorbankian wrote a will expressing his wish to donate to a foundation bearing his name his entire art collection, as well as a large part of his fortune. He died in Lisbon on the 20th of July 1955 at the age of 86. The birth of the foundation will be forever linked to the name of José de Azeredo Perdigão, lawyer and friend of Calus Gorbenkian and one of the executors of his will. Azeredo Perdigão became the first president of the foundation, which he led for more than 35 years. He was succeeded by Antonio Ferrer Correa, Vitor Sá Machado, and by the current president, Emilio Rui Villar. To commemorate its 50th anniversary, the foundation has set up the Calus Gorbenkian International Prize and also the Gorbenkian Prizes in Arts, Charity, Science and Education as a way of reaffirming its commitment to the founder's design as well as to promote innovation in those various areas. Inaugurated in 1969, the foundation headquarters is housed in an architectural complex set in the Gulbenkian Gardens, both classified as national monuments. The Gulbenkian Museum holds over 5,000 works of art from the founder's collection. The permanent exhibits span the whole of the history of art a journey through time beginning with Eastern and Classical Antiquity, through to Europe from the 11th century to the 21st century. The Gorbankian Foundation has also acquired a large number of modern and contemporary works of art. The José de Azeré do Perdigão Modern Art Centre was created in 1983 to promote education, events and research. It has become one of the most important permanent exhibition centers for modern art in Portugal. In order to contribute to the specialized training of artists and creators, the foundation offers grants and organizes courses. With a vast collection of works on art history and the visual arts, the art library attracts a large public. 
It houses the 3,000 titles of Calus Gorbenkian's collection, as well as the literary estate of many Portuguese writers, and a large number of periodicals, posters and photographs. The foundation has always given special attention to music. It has its own orchestra and choir, and organizes a concert season of international standard. Every year, the Foundation awards more than 6,000 scholarships for university education, postgraduate studies and doctorates. It also has its own publication program, which focuses on classical literature and university textbooks. Since its creation, the Foundation has supported projects in the Portuguese-speaking African countries and in East Timor. Active in over 70 countries, the Foundation has invested in the restoration and conservation of Portuguese heritage abroad and has contributed to the promotion of the Portuguese language and culture throughout the world. One of the sites of such promotion is the Paris Cultural Centre. It has a library with some 90,000 volumes and organizes discussions and seminars in cooperation with French cultural institutions, which widens the range of participants and public reached. The UK branch of the Calus Gorbenkian Foundation is based in London and plays an important role in awarding grants in areas such as education, the arts and social welfare. The Armenian Communities Service has a special place in the Gulbenkian Foundation, given the Founders' origins. It aims to promote the Armenian language and culture throughout the world and support communities from the Armenian diaspora. The Foundation is committed to promoting and disseminating scientific research and training by providing scholarships and grants for the training of scientists and for research institutions. It also organizes programs to inform the public about scientific matters and promotes debates and conferences about the most important scientific advances. Since its creation in 1961, the Gorbenkian Institute of Science, based in Oueras, has developed a range of activities related to scientific research and is nowadays a leading centre in biomedicine. The Foundation also carries out initiatives addressing the new challenges related to urban management, the environment and the protection of biodiversity. In the area of health and human development, the primary aim is to improve health care and promote the social inclusion of underprivileged groups and communities, as well as issues relating to immigration. In the 50 years of its existence, the Calus Gorbenkian Foundation has continued to evolve in its endeavor to renew and consolidate the objectives of its founder. Kalus Gorbankian Foundation, a foundation in the world.